In this problem, we're told that Ginny paid $4.16 for a sandwich. And just as a reminder, you see the dollar sign, and you know that we're dealing with money. The first number is the whole number of dollars that are spent. And you see a decimal point. And this represents the number of change, or pennies, that are spent. Right? This is $4, basically, and 16 pennies, or a dime, a nickel, and a penny. But this is the number of, ch of pennies or hundredths that are actually included in the total. Um, so what does this question ask? Well, it tells us that she paid 95 pennies or 95 cents, right? The dollar sign with a zero, so zero dollars and 95 cents for a piece of fruit. What is the total amount Jenny paid for the sandwich and fruit? Well, when they're asking for the total, Right? They're asking you to add everything that was spent. So in this case, that's the $0.95 cents and the $4.16. So to find that out, what we should do is add. Right? We should add these terms up. How do we do that? Well, I think one nice and easy way to do it is just to stack the numbers up. Right? So we have $4.16. We can ignore the dollar sign for now, and we don't need to take that into account. But when we line this up, make sure your decimals line up. So we have 0 0.95, and we're going to add these two. So now we just go column by column. 6 and 5 is 11, right? So we put 1 here and the other 1 in the tens place. This is a 1 right here, so 1 and 9 is 10, plus 1 is 11. But really that's $1.10, right? Because that's 10 cents and 90 cents, and another 10 cents from that 11 cents before, so it's 10 and 10 and 90 makes $1.10. So one of the dollars carries over here in the dollars column. And last we had four and one and zero to get five. Right, but that's five dollars. So we put our decimal point down here to separate the dollars and pennies. You can just see that it lines up with the decimal point right here. And there's our answer, right? Five dollars and 11 cents. And this dollar sign could have two or one lines going through it. But here the answer is C, five dollars and 11 cents. All right, thanks.